They all seem to be graduates. I mean, they all have the graduation cap on. Except for those guys that are drinking. And that kind of makes sense, you know? Hi guys, welcome back to my video. And today we're going to be doing dumb stuff. So getting the small hair ornament in the, like, look-alike to the hunter's dream makes me wonder if there's something I'm supposed to do with it here. And I don't think that Gurman is into accessories, so I probably have to give it to her. Yep. Look at that. See that? What? That is what you call intelligent yes. thinking. I... I... I can't remember. Not a thing, only I feel. A yearning, something I never felt before. Hmm. What's happening to me? Don't know. Tell me, Hunter. Could this be joy? I suppose. Uh, it's been a while since I felt any joy, so, I mean. <laughs> Tearstone. Um. Uh, Used to gain a droplet blood gem. I wonder what that does for me. I wonder what the best use for those things are, actually. Anyway. Let's go back to the Hypogean goal. Of course, before I do that, I want to see if there's anything... I can do here. Oh, well, hello. Hello? Splendid. Why can't I go through this door? Let me ask you a small kindness. You're soon off to hunt, I presume? Then I suppose. If you find any survivors, tell them to seek your Sefka's clinic. Upon my Hippocratic oath, if they are yet human, I will look after mm. them. Don't know if I trust you. I don't even know who Yosefka is. Sickness, these beasts, they are not to be feared. This time the night is long. I may be trapped here, but I Why won't you let me in, is the question. I'll even offer a reward for your cooperation. Little pig, little pig, let me in. Well, off you go then. A reward. If you find anyone, you can assure them there's no place. I suppose. Safe. Please do me this. If you find, you can please. Yeah. All right. Well, don't know if I exactly trust Yosefka. Let me see. Anything different in here? Anything new? Anything interesting? Doesn't seem like it. I do promise my full intention is to get to the Hypogean Goal. I just... I... There are things that need exploration because evidently you progress the storyline when you're fighting bosses. And I don't want to progress the storyline too much while I'm busy exploring. So, just, just hold on. I will get there. Eventually. One of these days. Sometime. Hello. Oh, you look familiar. See you safe. Now, let's think up something to discuss. Just oh, to you're that guy. Oh, uh, the one who was, uh... Bourbonworth is an old place uh, of burning. Yeah. And the tomb of the gods cut well. I don't remember finding this door. I wonder what it does the password password i guess i mean <laughs> i have no idea where did i pick up that password i remember hearing it from the one skull but i didn't realize it was a password 
Something's already dead. How can you be asking for a password if you're already dead? Seriously. Jerk. It's in there haunting my dreams. That's what I think this whole game is about. Like, I think that this guy is having, like, a really bad transfusion or something of blood. And it's, like, completely corrupting his thought process. And is, like, making him live out this crazy, insane dream. That's, that's my two bits on this. Ooh, I could go down there. And I see a shiny down there. Ooh, I see a shiny up here. Um, hmm... But I, I think that he's like having a really bad transfusion and it's causing him to have all these dreams about like maybe he read H.P. Lovecraft before he went in for the transfusion and now he's having these strange dreams while he's having a really bad reaction. So, and it kind of explains the dreamception with the hunter's nightmare and the hunter's dream and then the hunter's dream place within the dream and then she's like find your worth in the waking world but i don't know like there are a few things that kind of give me the idea that he's just having a really bad trip <clears throat> maybe the person whose blood he got uh did acid before they donated kind of seems like it but uh yeah no I do like this game a lot, and one of the things that I really like about this game is the fact that you don't have to be so afraid of exploring new areas, because <clears throat> you're unlikely to get ganked. Like, <laughs> the, the number of enemies spam is just not, it isn't bad at all. So it's fun to explore. Like You can actually look around and you don't feel like, oh no, I'm going to lose everything if I go too far, like some of the other games. Here you can just go and explore. And as soon as you get a good handle on whatever weapon you're using. How did that guy die? Looks like he didn't kill the guy before he went in here. Stupid mistake. But, uh, yeah. So, it's fun. It is really fun. I like it. I like the game. Uh, let's see. It's a very interesting place. Lots of things to see. Whole new area. Oh, a lamp. Oh, jeez, that thing snuck right up on me. I was in there paying attention to that door, and it's like all of a sudden there's a lamp in front of me. Well, that's good to know. All right, well, there are a few things that I want to do here before I go too far. It's been a while since I've checked on this guy. I've already found the chapel. Do you need to go to the chapel? What? You don't sound like the guy that I was talking to before. Terrible fate has befallen you. What game was that from? Or it seems like you've been taken by a terrible fate or something like that. There was a game that that was actually a key. What was it? Okay. A little weird. 
Tonsil stone. I don't need tonsil stones. I had my tonsils removed because of tonsil stones. You guys certainly do know how to be annoying as crap. Jeez. I still can't get that thing. My goodness. Well, I figure... Might as well see if... Since it's later in the night... Maybe this thing's gone? Or, I mean, I do have that eye. Maybe this one does a different thing with the eye as well. Because the other one did something different when I had the eye. It does. Okay, so that eye open. The amygdala? I know he says amygdala. But. Huh. So it does seem like there's something different that happens with those things when you have that eye. Oh. A lecture building? Well. Well, well, well. That's exactly what I need. A lecture. Hmm. Hello. <laughs> Who are you? Jeez, there's so many NPCs. It is to behold the divine. I don't really be mind because it makes the world feel a little bit more full, it, you know. but... You're nigh on a beast of the field. But here you are, treading a measure with the gods. <laughs> okay. Are your feet as fat as your wits? I don't know, are you looking to die? Take the plunge. <laughs> Throw yourself to the wolves. I'll throw you to the wolves. <laughs> Are your feet? <laughs> All right. Interesting building to discover. Let's uncover what he's got. Everyone is having lots of fun with their friend named this hunter. Used to be an old commercial that ran before the Winnie the Pooh cassette tapes my parents bought. The Spot was the name. Yep. Like I said, my eidetic memory makes me remember random stuff like that. It's doing nothing for me. Jeez. That door looks like a boss door. I don't really care to fight a boss at this exact moment. I mean, after all, we just got finished with fighting the other two. Ooh. What are you? Scholar's clothes, not bad. Lecture key. For a lecherous lecture. No. Um, hmm. Doesn't seem to be very much important in this place. I mean, it looks important, doesn't it? it actually, it looks like a college. It's kind of cool. I like it. But, uh, I don't think that it's, uh, actually do anything for me. I mean, I don't have time to sit here and take classes from Goopman. Hmm. Yeah. Get whole jars of these eyeballs. Jeez. What the frick are they doing with these eyeballs? How many eyes do you need? Jeez. I picked up a key. This is 
Does it open this door? Yes, it does. Oh, hello. Oh, jeez. Whoa. Holy cow, there are a lot more. Holy frick, there are a lot more people than I thought there were in here. Jeez. Who's hitting me? What's going on? What the freak is going on? Holy cow. Oh, and they're not taking a whole bunch of damage either. It's not that bad, but it is definitely not good. Ah, come on. Good. No, what the heck? Can't even charge up an attack. Got things spitting at you. Oh. I wanted to see what the shiny was. That's not fair. Okay, revenge for stealing my shiny. You guys are... Uh, so that's what's going on. You guys sit there and slap me from across the room. Bet you that is a uh, direct reference <laughs> to things that actually happen in college. <laughs> Uh, so, lecture hall. Lecture hall of what? Like, what is wrong with these slugmen, you know? What about them entices them to be part of this college? They all seem to be graduates. I mean, they all have the graduation cap on. Except for those guys that are drinking. And that kind of makes sense, you know? do kind of want to know what on earth is going on with these dudes. Ah, there are my blood echoes. You jerk. Stealing my stuff. Don't touch my stuff, bruh. And you, focus on your studies. See, like these guys who just sit there and don't do anything. I'm doing you a favor this time. Not because you attacked me. Getting you out of uh, class, you know? Oh, I see something up there. Can't get up there. So all there was in this room was a whole heap of enemies, huh? Whole heap of little slimy guys going everywhere. Augur of Abritus. Huh. An auger. Augur is something usually that spins. But, uh, hmm. Spelled a little bit differently, it seems. Dang it. Phone just dropped. Is there anything else in this place? There's got to be something. I don't see a door on the other side. I see a door up there. Huh. Darn it. Well. Doesn't seem like I can get... Maybe I have to go through that door and get up there. Or maybe this way. Ooh. Oh, shinies. Yay, shiny. Oh, what the heck? Get off of me. You jerk. Just hanging out in the heat and ceiling, just waiting for <clears throat> someone to come by for these shinies. You jerk. Don't infect me with it, whatever it is that you have. Turns you into a slug. Doesn't look like... Alright, well, can I get through here? Yes, I can. Is there anything interesting in here? Oh, a chest. Nothing hanging from the ceilings, at least.
red jelly. It's almost like in Sekiro, the red lump. Wonder if that does about the same thing. Anyway, all right, I think I've been through every door that is open. So, oh, what the heck? Where are you taking me to? Dang it, I knew it was a boss. <sighs> I'm not really ready for... What the heck? It's not a boss? Seriously? Well, I don't think I'm going to go very far because I don't want to be facing a boss right now. What is that? Something about a woman ringing a bell? Doesn't sound like fun. The other thing over inside the other place had a thing here. Memory altar. Okay, so this is where I use these things. Ooh, do I get like three slots? Increases defense, temporary transformation, what the heck? Higher Quicksilver Bullet Max, might as well, but what transformation? I haven't gotten any transformations. Let's see if these guys have anything different. Okay, finally time. A hypogean gaul. Yar ghoul. Why does that name sound familiar too, Yar ghoul? Sounds kind of like Razel ghoul, but not entirely. Oh, oh, geez, those things can jump too. What the frick is going on? Don't do that, you jerk. Sitting there jumping at me? What is wrong with you? Seriously. Just punching around everything. Moon? What does moon do? Where would I find it? <laughs> Um, let's see it there. Ah, here we go. Acquire more blood echoes. I don't necessarily need more blood echoes though. Like they are good for upgrading and stuff like that, but I don't die enough to like really warrant getting a whole bunch, you know? I seem to have plenty for my needs. Bloodshot eyeball. Of course, with all of the other exploration today, I think I'm going to leave. What is that sound? Oh, jeez. Those giant pigs. I'm going to leave probably a good part of the exploration of this for another day. Especially if it's a big area. Turn around right when I'm about to hit you. You jerk. There you go. Don't try that again. Blood vial. Ooh, something shiny here. Stop it. Um, got something over here that I can grab. And then a couple of really weird looking dogs. They don't look like the other ones I've run into up till now. A lot more fuzzy. And it looks like the fur is down instead of like in a curl pattern.
madman's knowledge. Wow, lots of madman's knowledge. Wonder how many of those things I have now. Ooh. That looks interesting. Definitely got to take a look and see if that's worth my time and investment. What is this? Well, of course the gate is closed. That's why I want to open it. Ambush waits ahead. I can take an ambush. I also take an FM bush. <laughs> you know, AM, FM. Yeah, no. Sorry, dad jokes. It comes with the territory. Alright, well, you know what? I think I am going to leave most of the exploration of this area till next time. I know that the goal was to get here and to explore, but I found a lot of other interesting things along the way. So, it's not entirely about the journey, it's about the friends you made along the way. And I made quite a number of friends die from blood loss. Yes. <laughs> no. At, at least according to this thing. So... Goodbye, friend. Come on. There we go. Ooh. Can definitely always use them. You see what I mean? Made a lot of friends along the way. Die from blood loss. I have a little bit of a disclaimer there. 